It's very important to understand that any minimally invasive program or any patient who is offered minimally invasive valve surgery, there is a defined and well-described team that approaches that patient. It is critical. The perfusionist, the individual that's running the pump, that has the patient on the heart-lung machine while we are working on the heart, while we have the heart stopped, that individual has to understand very, very, very detailed manner exactly what the surgeon is doing and what the anesthesiologist is doing. There are critical moments during the period of a minimally invasive valve surgery that if the team doesn't understand that, then unfavorable events can occur. Unlike other aspects of surgery, and honestly, unlike some aspects of cardiac surgery, minimally invasive valve surgery requires expertise on many different levels, not just the surgeon, but the cardiac anesthesiologist requires certain skills and expertise and there has to be a good dialogue between the, the anesthesiologist and the surgeon, especially with line placement and a lot of the different things that we do that allow us to do the procedure minimally invasively. The chief of cardiac anesthesia here is Dr. David Stout. He has vast experience and has really developed a great staff in which we have a working relationship that really is second to none. My name is David Stout and I'm the Chief of Cardiovascular Anesthesia here at Swedish Heart and Vascular Institute. So before surgery, as we are scheduling patients for minimally invasive heart surgery, Dr. Barnhart will communicate with, with myself and we talk about the case. He'll give me specifics about what he's thinking about as far as techniques that he may need to do that therefore I have to do to make sure that he can get what needs to be accomplished. So that nice give and take that happens not only before the case, continues through the case. Because as he starts in, we often have to change the game plan. I mean, things happen fast. Some subtlety that you couldn't identify in advance about the patient, he'll say, well, we need to do this. And so we'll change and do something. And that's, I think that's what experience gets you, is the ability to go in with a plan, but have a subtle change for the patient's benefit and still end up doing just what you ended up wanting to do in the end.